everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another video for you guys. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you this bombshell blonde hair with some dark roots. Now I posted a picture of this hairstyle on my Instagram and a lot of you guys were saying it was giving Pamela Anderson Lee vibes, very 90s. Guess what you guys? So I was actually inspired by the 90s with this hairstyle. I was looking at some 90s haircuts, hairstyles, and I was very much inspired. And I did come across the Pamela Anderson Lee uh, picture and I was definitely inspired by her bangs. So this is the look I'm going for. Now I'm not saying I look anything like her because it's quite obvious that I don't. But I was feeling this very 90s moment. Now if you guys want to see more like 90s inspired, maybe 70s, 60s, comment down below. Let me know and I will definitely try and recreate some more looks for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video so stay tuned for the tutorial. Alright, so let's get into this wig. The wig that I'm using today is from RX Beauty Hair and I've never used their wig before. This is my first time using this wig and I will definitely tell you guys to check out other hair reviews on the wig. I'm mainly focusing on coloring and styling this wig and again, it is my first time using it. So make sure you check out other reviews on this hair. I will put all the hair info in the description box as well. So this is a 13 by 4 lace frontal wig. It comes with all the combs on the inside which I don't like I hate them because they literally like poke your head but I always take mine out so this is how the wig is looking on my head she looks like you know basic boring but I'm gonna fix her up as you can see from the intro I'm gonna be going for a blonde bombshell hairdo today so I'm keeping the hair blonde and I just went in with a spray bottle of water and I'm just wetting the roots of the hair before I do the actual roots. One of my subscribers mentioned this and said it would be a, e a lot easier process when I'm doing the roots. So I'm trying this out. I do listen to your guys' feedback when it comes to me doing these hair videos and I appreciate them. For the roots, I'm using a box dye. This is by Ions and this one is the 6N Dark Blonde. I will put it in the description bar down below. I wanted a dark blonde shade of roots. So this is what the roots is looking like. Now I'm going to step off camera and wash it out and this is what we are left with I'm very happy with the colors I mean it's a little bit not perfect but it's good it's good I can work with this to tone the 613 hair I went in with some purple shimmer lights conditioner you can use a shampoo as well but I find that the conditioner leaves the hair softer and not too dry the shampoo dries it out a lot you guys so I use a conditioner and I use the purple shampoo to get rid of that yellow color so now we have more of a cool tone blonde it's super easy I I just put it in some hot water you guys see me doing this so many times so that's why I didn't do it on camera anyways I'm moving on to cutting the lace so I'm cutting the air tabs is that we call it of the lace and I'm gonna go ahead and lay my lace down my wig off camera I do have a very detailed video on how I lay my wig so my wig is on my head you guys and as you can see right now my roots actually look a little darker that's because I went back in and I darkened up the roots some more I wish I didn't do that I wish I left it how it was but the perfectionist in me said you need to darken these roots but I didn't do a good job the second time but whatever we're just gonna ignore that so I moved on to cutting the hair because I want shorter hair and I'm gonna go in with my scissors and just snip away some of that inches because we don't need that and then I'm gonna go in with a Sharon comb and I'm just gonna start creating some layers in this hair I didn't know what hairstyle I had planned I didn't know what I want to do I just know I want something blonde but then I was looking at some old pictures of Pamela Anderson Lee and just some old 90s hairstyles. So I wanted like this 90s bombshell hairstyle. So that's what we are going for today. And listen, I am not the best when it comes to cutting hair. So, but I'm using the Sharon comb and I find that it's a lot easier to work with. I'm also creating like a side sweep bang and again the Sharon comb was a lot easier to use than me using a scissors. I don't know why I don't use my Sharon comb more often but I was here for it. Anyways I'm gonna go in with my flat iron. This is my smaller, I'm not sure what size this is but I will link it in the description bar down below and I'm just gonna start curling the hair away from my face kind of creating a flip. Now I will say that with these ready-made wigs they don't fit my head as well. I have a small head. Um, I kind of prefer making my own wigs but it does take a lot more time to do and random you guys my background has changed I changed my background I always do that I kind of want to make changes to it but I don't know anyways I'm just showing you guys the hairspray that I'm using it's the Sebastian 
you know what I don't know the rest of the name I'll put it in the description box down below make sure you check it out yeah so just curl the hair away from your face and I find that with this hair it curled really 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 easy you guys now this is 613 hair it's not the greatest silkiest feeling it does feel a tad bit dry but it does curl really easy I mean most 613 hair I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna be honest with you it's they're not like the greatest because they are processed hair and I don't believe that they are 100% human hair but I'm gonna work with it so I'm gonna go in with the front and just create that nice little side sweep bang and then go in whoo girl that hot comb burnt the heck out of me be careful when you use a hot comb okay be careful so for the bangs I'm gonna curl it under they are just a tad bit long so I'm just gonna go around and play with it with my sharing comb some more and cut them shorter and then for the top I'm gonna do the same thing with the sharing comb and just go in and just cut it a bit more I'm gonna go in with some hairspray just to hold those curls and again like I said I'm just playing around with the bangs trying to see how long I want them I don't want them too short or too long and then I'm gonna go in with my brush and just start brushing out this curl I'm really really loving this style it just reminds me of like old school early 90s bombshell hair and I was living for this moment I'm trying to fix you know my little mistakes that I made with the roots but you know what once the hairstyle is done it's actually starting to look like something it's coming together I'm here for it this is probably gonna be my last blonde look for a while because I haven't done anything fun and colorful in a while and you know the weather's getting nice I want to do something fun and colorful comment down below let me know what you guys want to see next but yeah this is it this is the completed look I really hope you guys enjoyed this video give me a big thumbs up if you do comment down below let me know what you guys want to see next and I will see you in another video very very soon I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching. Bye!